Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, or CBT for short, is a talking therapy meaning much of the work will be done through conversation. What this form of therapy aims to do is to bring positive changes to how a client responds to certain things or scenarios based on their behaviour and emotions. CBT techniques are for teaching clients certain skills on how to keep themselves mentally composed when under psychological distress, so they will be less susceptible to thinking negative and irrational thoughts. Now that you know what cognitive behavioural therapy is all about, here are some techniques and exercises that you should consider adding to your CBT program. Firstly is journaling. Have your clients jot down their problems and how they respond to said problems in a journal for a set amount of time before each session. The therapist can take a look at what they've written and identify any patterns worth noting. Decatastrophizing. This is a technique that will help them sit down, relax and think about the exaggerated thoughts and any negative outcomes that they're expecting and then reconfigure how they think by helping them think of more rational ways to look at a problem and possible positive outcomes. Progressive muscle relaxation. For this exercise, the client will tense and relax their muscles so that they can physically and mentally relax. Being calm and relaxed is necessary if they're going to try to take a more rational look at their problems. Deep breathing. By taking slow and deep breaths, the clients can enter a relaxed state and help reduce the effects of anxiety and distress even just a little bit. Cognitive restructuring. The clients need to identify the sources of their cognitive distortions and negative thinking and behavioral problems. Once they identify these distortions and negative patterns, the therapist and client can work together to reframe or replace these negatives with more rational, positive and realistic ways of thinking. Guided discovery. The therapist will listen to their client's problems and viewpoints. After listening to their client, they will formulate questions that should challenge their viewpoints and beliefs. Exposure therapy. The therapist will expose the client to things that can trigger their fears, anxieties, and even things that make them feel down. By exposing the client to these, they can make them desensitize when it comes to their triggers. Communication training via role playing. The therapist and client will determine what situations trigger the client's distress and cognitive distortions. Then they will act out a scenario to help the client face these triggering situations. Cognitive behavioral therapy also relies on worksheets. This is so they can practice the skills that they have learned. Here are some examples of worksheets you can use. Decatastrophizing worksheet. This type of worksheet normally asks the client to reflect on their biggest worry at the time using prompts such as identify how likely this worry will come true, specify all the evidence that points towards this worry coming true, and more. Self-compassion worksheet. This may take different forms depending on the source, but they all work towards the same goal, which is to instill self-compassion and self-gratitude in a client. Thoughts and behaviours journal. The worksheet will be filled between CBT sessions. The client will write about whatever causes them distress, depression or anxiety each day. They will identify the specific cause, what they thought about and felt while triggered and how they respond. Automatic thoughts. Clients will jot down all the causes of their negative thoughts and patterns, then identify what they automatically think about whenever they are exposed to their triggers. Then next to their automatic negative thought, they will write down a more realistic or positive way of looking at things. Personal values. Clients will indicate in a list their values and indicate how important these values are to them. To learn more about CBT techniques, check out our guide on our Care Patron platform which you can find in the link in the description, or check out our guides playlist for more information like this. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.